Uh, I fly for Rotex uh, about a year now. And we are basically doing uh, logging, construction work, uh, utility work, uh, precision long line. So everything actually with, uh, with a line. Like the company I used to work before, they, they used to have a, a K-Max. And uh, initially I was like a helicopter mechanic. So I, I fell in love with this aircraft basically. And it was always like one of my dreams to fly these things. And Rotex is the only operator in Europe anymore, so there was no way <laughs> uh, to not go to Rotex. So yeah, yeah, I did the initial training at um, Cayman Helicopters or Cayman Aerospace over there in uh, Connecticut, Bloomfield, and we did initial training on the Husky for about five hours, and then I hopped in the Kmax, and then I did another seven hours in that, and then. I've been done with the training, basically. Yeah. yeah, for sure, it doesn't have a, a tail rotor on it and the Flentner system, uh, which means uh, we don't have hydraulic power main rotor. So the controls are not powered with hydraulics. So it's a little hard to steer. So it takes a little while to get used to it. Um, that's basically the main difference. And uh, for sure, how like the whole helicopter is like uh, moving and is like acting if you make an input, it's like a little different, you know, than like a usual helicopter. But like the fuel burn weight lift ratio is just really awesome. Um, yeah, because of the V shape of the whole aircraft, the whole aircraft design is like it's like a V shape. So the pilot view is, is perfect, you know. So there, there's no blind spot. There, there's nothing which is like bordering you or something, you know. It's just like, yeah, it's just made to fly vertical reference. Yeah, so yeah, it's perfect. Sure, it's not always that easy to, to get the locks out. Sometimes, you know, the branches are like stuck in, in, in the other locks and stuff, you know. So you, you need like a little force and you have to be a little a little rough on the aircraft sometimes, you know. But uh, the KMAX can handle it really good.